Hey BC, so a few days ago I did a Genesis video where Logan from Swole Heads Network and I talked about our top 10 Genesis songs from the Phil Collins era. So I wanted to do a follow-up video to that video and talk about my top 10 Genesis songs from the Peter Gabriel era. Now Peter Gabriel era of course spans their first album from Genesis to Revelation all the way through his final album with the band, The Lamb Lies Down on Broadway. So I'm gonna be covering those albums, not gonna represent every single album from that discography. Just gonna pick the songs that I personally like, my favorites from that period of time. So getting into it right away into my number 10 is going to be Carpet Crawlers from The Lamb Lies Down on Broadway. Always enjoyed this track. It's a great end to the first record. Of course, Land Lies Down on Broadway was a double album, but Carpet Crawlers always struck me as sort of leading the way to how Peter Gabriel's solo career, uh, the songs that he would write and compose during that period of time, very melodic. I love the whole, uh, the chorus that keeps repeating and repeating and the instrumentation kind of builds as the song goes along, but just always enjoyed that. Great song, great Peter Gabriel track. Um, could have worked well on any of his solo albums actually, but uh, it is definitely a favorite of mine. Number nine, I am going to go with Dancing with the Moonlit Night from the album, my favorite Genesis album probably um, of all time, Selling England by the Pound. It's the lead off track. And I love it. it starts off very folky, almost like it's going to be, a, you know, kind of a Fairport convention kind of a song. And then it goes into full prog rock mode. You got Mellotrons in there. You've got the great guitar work of Steve Hackett. You've got great keyboard work by Tony Banks. And it's just an epic track. Great way to start off that album. And I uh, had to include that on my list. Number eight, I am going to go with the lead off track from one of Genesis's, Genesis's, Sis's, Sis's, one of Genesis's best albums, Foxtrot, Watcher of the Skies. Watcher of the Skies, uh, definitely is a dark track. And I feel like Foxtrot is one of the darker albums in Genesis's catalog. Uh, but Watcher of the Skies, I just love it. Like starts off with the Mellotron and then it builds. It gets very frenetic uh, during the song. And it's a great showcase for, you know, it's Genesis flexing their progressive rock muscles. And it's a great way to kick off that album. A lot of, yeah, you know, I find throughout Genesis's catalog, the lead off tracks are sometimes the strongest tracks on those particular albums. Um, Number seven, I'm going to go with Fly on the Windshield from The Lamb Lies Down on Broadway. It is a song that follows the uh, title track, second track on the album. But I love the wordplay, the imagery that Peter Gabriel evokes. Not sure what any of it means, but it's just so fun and interesting to hear him as he's singing the lyrics. Love the, the background music behind it. Um, it's just when it kicks in, it starts off with just his vocal and then they kick in. There's some Mellotron in there, just all full out progressive rock, but it's almost like a modern progressive rock. This was, uh, 1975 when this album came out, I believe. And, uh, it's just a great way. Like if you weren't impressed enough with the title track, I love his rhyming schemes in this song. Just the lyrics are so Dylan-esque and playful. Um, and it just kind of trails off at the end. It leads into the next song. But yeah, I, just, I think it's fantastic. It's great. Number six, I am going to go to um, Nursery Crime for the return of the giant hogweed. I, I love those arpeggios at the beginning of the track. That like instantly draws me in. Great track. This was the first of what I consider... Um, four untouchable Genesis albums. You got Nursery Crime, then you got Foxtrot, then you got uh, Selling England by the Pound, and then the last Peter Gabriel album, The Lamb Lies On on Broadway. But just this, I, I, this is my favorite track on the Nursery Crime album, and uh, it, it's great. I love it. Um, it's a great hard rocking track, and like I say, Steve Hackett, 
Uh, it's fantastic on this one. Number five, I'm going to go with Can Utility and the Coastliners, which is near the end of the Foxtrot album, but it always gets overshadowed by Supper's Ready, which is a standout track, the epic track on that album. It's near the end, but I love it. It really kind of points the way towards what Genesis would become. I think it's very melodic. I think Peter Gabriel sings it well. I love Steve Hackett's guitar work on here. And it's not like a heavy rocker. It's a little more subdued, but I think the melody is very effective. And I think as an ensemble, they really shine on that particular track. And it's one of the overlooked uh, songs from Boxtrot, which is a fantastic Genesis album. Number four, gonna go with the title track from The Lamb Lies Down on Broadway. What a great way to open up that album. It kind of sets the stage, talks about Rael. Now, I don't pretend to know exactly what the hell is going on as far as the storyline for that particular album, but The Lamb Lies Down, it's just, I, I love the, and the lamb lies down. I mean, it really, Peter Gabriel sounds a lot like Phil Collins and Peter Gabriel, their voices could blend together and sound similar. Uh, which is why I think it was so easy for Phil Collins to kind of transition into that lead vocal role. But it's just a great lead off track. It's a great, it's melodic, it's hard rocking, and yet it's all the elements um, that foreshadowed kind of what Genesis, uh, what their future would look like. But always love that. It's a radio friendly tune, one of the few tracks on this album that I heard on classic radio back in the day. And it's just pure gen Genesis. You got the keyboard work, great guitar work, great Peter Gabriel vocals, interesting lyrics, and it's the whole package. Number three, Firth of Fifth, from going back to the Selling England by the Pound album. I love, and this is where Tony Banks shines. You got the piano intro. It's on piano, but then it's reprised on synthesizer. Beautiful Steve Hackett guitar work in that middle section there. Um, and it's not like he's not showing off, but it just suits the song so effectively. And that was the, the beauty of Steve Hackett is, you know, he didn't have to play a lot of notes. He didn't have to, you know, get all virtuoso on the guitar, but his guitar work, it, it, it's so complements the keyboard work. There's that interplay between Tony Banks and Steve Hackett. And I love how it goes from kind of slow to soft, that didn't, 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 that, that whole, I, you know, I'm not going to be able to scat it, reproduce it here, but I just love that balance between those two melodies. Uh, and it's great. Uh, my favorite track on my favorite Genesis album. Number two, I am going to go back to that album for The Cinema Show, another epic Peter Gabriel track, kind of the supper's ready of the um, Selling England by the Pound album, but it's, it's great. It, it has all the elements, great Peter Gabriel lyrics, great Peter Gabriel um, vocal, Tony Banks shines, Steve Hackett's guitar work is fantastic, Phil Collins on the drums, but it's just a cool way to, uh, you know, almost end up an album. Um, it's near the end, but, I, you know, one of the reasons why I like that album, it's just so theatrical and it tells a story and it's just a delight to listen to and never get tired of that one. And my number one, of course, is going to be Supper's Ready from the Foxtrot album. Is it really a better Genesis song? This reminds me a lot of, I love Pink Floyd, and this is kind of the echoes um, of the Genesis catalog. It it takes a journey. That's one of the things about the great progressive rock tracks is they take you on a journey from the beginning of the track to the end, goes through different suites. Um, different melodies, different time signatures. There's almost like five or six songs within one song. Um, you could have like subdivided these and, uh, but it's great. It's Peter Gabriel. I, I think the best thing that he's ever done with Genesis and it's a fantastic standout progressive rock track.
one of the greatest progressive rock tracks of all time. Nothing I can really say about it that hasn't already been said, but it is my number one track from the Peter Gabriel Genesis era. So that's my list. Try to keep this one relatively short. Let me know what you think. What is your list? Do you prefer the Phil Collins era or the Peter Gabriel era? Let me know. Thanks for watching and happy 4th of July.